eight. But I mean, you know, like uh, basically, are these small guys, big, big guys? Big guys. She points around like around like she. So with your measurement, she uses around like your torso. Okay. Okay. Well, by the way, my, a my little bit is five eight. Okay. Yeah, you're around Lotus's height. Dude, you could like sit on my shoulders and we could be like a giant. <laughs> the most giantest doctor. All right, I nod and I kind of try to indicate behind him. I'm like, there's a group of small ones ahead. And so. What do you guys want to do? Because Lotus is not going to run in there by her, like, right. yeah. Right. And, like, um, so the grass field is still the same. They're still around two to three feet tall. Um, there are, you see that, the tr like, in between the trees, like, yeah, you can try to walk through them, but it, you'll probably make some kind of a noise. They're kind of, like, tightly, um, like, they're pretty condensed, the trees, like, between each other. She also um, doesn't. She also, Lotus doesn't indicate that there's any traps or anything, right? That she spotted. Uh, she. she I mean, I mean, I would think she would check. Maybe for that. she would check for that. I need to roll for that. Hold on. God damn it! Ben. Them, them kobolds and their traps. All right. Well, he, right, well, well, he's thinking that up. Um, I like point at Tharja, <laughs> and I kind of point up in the air. You want me to fly up there and uh, peek, take a peek? That's your call. That's what I would suggest. Is that what you're asking your character? Is that what your yeah. character's asking me to do? Okay. I say all right, and I'm going to cast fly and start uh, hovering. I guess um, okay. um, high up to see it over the landscape. I kind of put kinda... before you do it. I kind of put my hand up, like wait. Yeah. Basically, I want to engage, and you're just basically going to fly up from there. You want to yeah. engage? Because well, there's a good um, chance that they'll be able to see you if you just fly up into the air, unless you're going to blow mm -hmm. a lot of magic here. Yeah, if I blow invisibility or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Um, do you want me to fly just enough, high enough to peek over trees and shit and see yeah. if I can... Well, like, okay. activate it, and you get, like, minutes of it. So, like, you'll have one whole minute. And that'll be pretty much the combat, I would think. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. I'll um, activate fly, and I'll uh, float there and see if I can get a good general idea of the landscape around here. Okay. How, how high up are you going? I'll go... Uh, how high are the trees? I was just saying activate it, and just don't fly anywhere. Just wait. Like, like you can activate fly without going up in the air yet. Yeah, yeah. These are around 12 to 15 feet. Okay, then I'll go maybe like, um, I don't know, 18 feet so I can see just like a little bit over the okay, trees. And I'm assuming, um, Lois, um, detects that there seems to be some ankle snares, but other than that, she doesn't notice any other traps. Does she point them out? Um, the ones that she sees she points them out and i'll mark them for you when you guys actually get there cause, but she's not going first so right. you want me to move right. her out of your way okay um okay uh... yeah because it's going to be me and the city watch officer um... probably uh yo i was just out of curiosity if i float up 18 feet can i see over here over where over these trees right up here uh yeah they give me vision for where I can see if I'm 18 feet up again. Well, we're not. You're not going yet until they move up. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, all right, fine, fine. Okay, so Lotus, uh, Lotus moves out the way. She points out, oh, the, she says there might be more, but that, those were only three that she could detect from where she stood. All right. All right. <laughs> they, she, I... <laughs> instead of ankle snare, she tells you it's, it's I think she says, it, I think it's bear traps. Okay, I push the red um... shirt forward. And then I like follow behind him. Wait, don't we have um? You get don't we have people that can do uh, detecting shit like that easier? Detecting what? Like uh, perception, perception checks. 
She already did. You, Maybe she failed really bad, and that's why she's saying she doesn't think she got them all. You have to. You have to. You have to like actively look for them. Is the problem? No, and yeah, it's not just actively looking for them. You have to think this is a forest, and she's just <laughs> standing in this spot, like looking outwards into like the whole camp. So. No way she's gonna see them all. Um, hey, maybe there's an easier way of, uh, I don't know, triggering all these without everybody dying. Why don't, well, I, why don't I do like one of the low level summons here? You I say, I say, in it? well, I mean, I can do a level one summon, that's like that one. I say, yeah, so you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna spell, and it would attract them. Yeah, but right, these guys running over the thing would attract them too. And I can summon a horse, and it'll be like a wild horse that just randomly ran through, you know? <laughs> that's well. Basically, you guys don't know what's gonna happen when you run the traps, but like they're not. They you guys know where the traps are, so technically right now you guys can avoid the the traps towards the front. Yeah, I'm just saying like if these guys run over the traps, like we might actually need having the soldiers later, so it might not be good to waste all the soldiers on puny traps. They know where oh, the traps are. Wanna... If you want to use magic to go ahead and try and disarm them, go ahead. But if you have no idea where the you traps are ahead. and you only get a limited amount of rounds, well, I mean, okay, all right. If, if you if you guys want to send them the troops, okay, it's fine, it's up to you. But I mean, this is this isn't like a hallway in a dungeon where it's pretty obvious. Like, okay, run down that hallway. Like these traps yeah. could be anywhere on the ground. So wait, we know we know there's ones in the front though, right? We and know there's some at least three in the front. That's all you we know. We know there's three in the front. Yes. And we can point them out to these soldiers so everybody can see it. When I give you guys vision, you guys will see it, basically. Okay, alright, fine. Well, we'll just go in. We don't have to, obviously, we don't have to trigger the ones we already know about. Yeah. And we need vision. Like, we need vision to see what we need to do. Okay, I'll go. Let's go on with the soldiers thing. Okay, so red shirt goes first. Then me and the city watch officer. I guess I'll go in between because I have like second most age. After you, I'm like pretty high HP. Alright. And I already have. I'm gonna cast Major Armor before we go in just in case. Okay. I'm actually gonna do the same thing. And that red dot's a trap? Yep. Okay. What about the two little lines? That's just bug. The map was bug. Um, okay. can I ask, Oz, are these like normal bear traps that we would know about? Like, um, ones you can trigger by just putting like a stick in them or something and trigger them that way? You could try. Um, uh, do you, um, okay, never mind. Yeah, if we don't have to trigger them, then yeah, I guess we can move around them. They might have some other way of triggering other than stepping on them, like trying to go around them or something. And okay, so a little bit um about this area. So you see the you guys can kind of see they're actually fairly well hidden because of the high grass. Um, you guys see the three bear traps that Lotus points out, and you also see something that looks like a tent, which is this. Gotcha. Yeah, this okay. area. Right off the bat, can. I'm going to take a moment and can I spot any traps or any sentries, like any watchmen? Can you see any? Yeah. Um, perception or? Yeah, it's going to be a perception. Twenty-six. Yeah, you know that that um, there seems to be people on patrol that you can kind of hear that are like walking to the right of these trees. Okay, so I can hear them. Uh, do I spot any additional like bear traps or foot snags? Anything that might give us trouble? Not, pro not in this area, no. Okay. Yo guys, I'm just uh, out of curiosity here. What if we take the? What if we somehow disable the pair traps and move them on somewhere else? We could use them later uh, for our benefits. Um, I think Lotus would have to do disarm device, but that would be a good idea. 
Let's not worry about that right now. We can pick them up afterward if we want to do that. I mean, like, we move them because there's patrols up there later, right? Like, we have a bunch of mages. If we put up the guard traps and then uh, cheat you, it would be beneficial to us, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to take us time to move around the traps, and we're going to be in the open when we do this. It's like daytime, so Lotus can't easily go up there and, like, move them around. Where are the patrols again? I, indicate, right. I indicate that I hear something, like, I put my. I cut a hand in my ear and point past the trees to the east. Yep. All right, but knowing that, I like kind of put an arm on the city watch's shoulder and I kind of like push him forward, like urge him <laughs> forward. Uh, which one's the captain? Uh, Officer? Middle. Who's the second? Okay. Yeah, I wanted to, you know. He's the fucking I mean, red we're, shirt. We're pointing, so. we're pointing this out to him that there's a trap there. So no, he's yeah. Going in like retard, right? he, he knows the trap. So where do you guys want him to do? Um, can we, can we, can we just eyeball the trap before we go over it, just see if there's any strings or something. So if he tries to go around it, that it's not triggering something else. I um, we don't notice it. There's no strings. You know? What about the other um, soldiers? What are they doing? I move up when Ben moves, but I don't know what Ben is standing there for. Okay. Okay, um, I'm going to point to the troops in the back, and I'm going to point towards the tent. And then I'm going to point to the city watch officer and point right here. Where? Where? We're going to stack them all up over there. Um, at least me and the city watch officer. That way, if they try to engage from another angle, then we can cut them off. Hold up. I need to roll stealth check for that walking. Oh god, there's a lot of them. If you want to stack all of them up over there, one of them will fail. We're trying to move an army through the forest here. <laughs> Seven people as an army? Whatever. Same, enough people that it's gonna fail. He makes a little bit of noise, but nobody seems to be alerted. Okay, so I don't hear like the patrol go off or anything. Nope. Okay. Um, you know, yeah. yeah. Do you want me to roll stealth to move into position? Yeah. Okay. Um, or... I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie. It might be beneficial just because, like, if we have to do some maneuver and we have to run away or something, or we have to go, not run away, but I mean, like, we have to do something where, like, we okay. get up here and then they're all back there, they'd have to, like, run around this trap. I do it might be beneficial to just have Lotus real quick just to save Lotus. Cause it's, why don't you guys just stand behind? It's really easy. Why don't you just have the troops go right here, like I said, and then you guys can stand right here, and then they can't easily threaten you because they'd have to go through the trap. Okay. Then you guys have protection without even But the to. soldiers are the last people to come in. Yeah, um, but they can go through the trees. Can they? Yeah, it's, they would just make noise. So basically, like yeah, and when you're okay. when they're going six deep, they're going in there. Like they aren't fucking sneaking in like pack rats. They're in fucking right. chainmail. <laughs> All right. So when they move into position in the tree line, then I'm gonna try to sneak over there. Okay. okay. And I'm probably gonna fail this terribly, but that's okay because we'll be in position. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. That's decent. Yep, you actually pass. And let me see. I move very light on my feet for a 280 pound guy in fucking breastplate. Um, so is Thurja going in the air now? Thurja going in the air now? Um. You know what, uh, I don't see any reason not to just stand here and wait. Why wouldn't I just stand here back here and wait? Okay. I don't need to go over there, right? No. I just figured okay. so that you have line of sight, like you don't have to worry about cover or anything. Mm -hmm. Or them rushing you somehow. Cause... If they flank us or something. Wait, hold up, no. You guys, if you guys are casters, you guys need to go ahead of Lotus. Because she's going to block you guys straight up, and you guys can't cast anything, so... Well, I'm, I'm right up here. Am I, am I okay? 
You're, if she's standing here, you guys are fucked. No, none of you guys are casting anything. Oh, okay. Um, but I can so, still buff people, right? Yeah, you can still buff. Um, See you, my sorry, for me. I guess I'll fucking. How about hey? Could I actually fly up into the tree here and cast from up on the tree? Yes. I'll do that. I'll okay. be in the tree casting. All right. So when you go up, you notice. Yeah. You because you're, you're only you're only up at like at the height of the tree, right? So you're only yeah. at 15 feet. You notice this. I'll be standing in the tree casting from there. And I'll be ready I'll be ready to feather fall if I have to. Out of the tree. All right. If everybody's in position, then I'm going to tell like I'm in a motion for the captain um, to give the order. Do you want me to relay the information on troop the troops that's over there before you go in? I could like write something down and pass it down as a note or something for you guys. I think the officer is going to just y'all charge or some shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You guys you guys got this. I, I, I give a thumbs up to everybody. So you want them to go through the trees, right? Yes. Yeah. And they go through the trees. Hold on, fuck. Lotus is not going to win with them. She's going to chill back. Some of which are in the exact same square as another person. I, it's because they're <laughs> on cell, so I'm just doing it like this. They're basically like squeezing through the trees, like, and there, there they go. When they're like moving through the trees, um, because they're obviously making noise, a lot of noise, they o these guys already start to move forward. And... Um, they moved a whole five feet, and that was their turn? For charging? Well, they... No, they're not <laughs> They, um... I, I kind of basically... This is pre-charge. This is just them no them hearing rustling from the trees so this is like here's movement so, so they're coming all right they, all right guys now, these kobolds were ready in actions for them coming through the trees don't worry we we got no. this fight still let's go ahead let's let's do this come on let's go initiative yeah go for initiative i'm gonna kill everything dude they were fucking ready they were like i know that somebody's coming through those fucking woods <laughs> Oh, dang. Oh, still shitty roll. Oh, it's still not even highest. Jesus. Wait, Terry, you did initiative twice? Roll again, because that's the same number as you. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> ah! Box. Oh my god. How do you guys both have, um, plus sevens? I have improved what? initiative. Yeah, uh -huh. I have improved initiative as well. Oh, shit. Or how do you, you have plus that? eight? What the fuck? Um, oh, familiar. familiar. No, I have plus seven. Oh, oh him? Yeah. Familiar. Okay, I'm putting your thingies and... Okay. You want to put the commander and his troops on as well? Yeah, I have theirs on and there is she already. Um, wow, you guys all have fucking ridiculous roles. I uh, know, dude. That's pretty awesome. Basically, all of them beside the officer is going after you guys, so I'll just do this. Lotus kind of just like slowly walks, is walking through the tree. So that's that's her turn. Yes, um, so use her and go, Bill. Why are NPCs to terrible? <laughs> All right. Um. Wait, wait, wait. Is it Bill? Yeah, it's wait. wait yeah, you wait. gotta sort it by um, descending. Right here. there we go. Wait, wait. Th does Ben go first or Terry? Yeah, he goes first. Okay, okay, that worked. Put on your headset, asshole. Alright, I'm gonna wait for them to go oh, first. Yeah. You're waiting for our kobolds to go first? No, I'm waiting for the fucking soldiers to go first. Oh, okay. If, if as far game, as I um, know, they still don't see us. Like, they yeah, just they see don't. this fucking bunch of soldiers coming through the woods. Um, so, if the officer's going first, what do you want the officer to do right now? Uh, that's up to you. St I don't give him any okay. orders. 
Okay. He should know how to fight. <laughs> he moves here. Okay, he passed the stealth check. And he is going to hold action for when the kobolds. Is he going to hold or is he going to ready? Ready action when they move to over here. Okay. And. So do I think he's trying to like bottleneck him? Like he's yeah, basically okay. he's trying to like flank him here. These position is kind of off. Okay. There we go. And the kobolds, two of them actually go before the soldiers and. So kobolds are gonna come. This one just this one yells charge, and then runs in man mode. Ham. He 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 went ham, and he he's going Can in. Turn him into ham. This one follows. Does the officer smash him? Yeah, the officer gets a roll. Um, but yeah, there we go. Those two go later, and this officer goes. So as you see my uh, spell list, right? Yeah. Okie dokie. What's the um? What's the uh size here? What's the range? I'm geared over there. It's to scale. Only the okay. river part is not to scale. Great, that's good for me. <laughs> Lone Sword is 1d8, right? Yes. I think so. And he hits. Crit, or... Er. Um, That's threaten. a crit? It's or... a threaten. So he needs to confirm. Okay. Well, it's not an. Is it has to be a natural or does it have to just be the full thing? He's. A, is he... he's oh, sorry, a sorry. Sword. I didn't see that you put the bonus. So, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's yes. not a critical because it's not a natural um, 19. Hey, can I ask, just uh, Oz, out of curiosity, um, what kind of vision? Do I know what vision um, uh, uh, Cobalt Tap? No, you guys. Don't know? You guys only had a ten, so you don't know do too these, much. Do these kobolds look like at all disoriented? Because like um, normally kobolds have like light blindness or something. Yeah. So, well, these four were already up. This one that just got up because he heard noises is like fucked up. Um, he, he's like this one here. Here, I'll I'll, I'll put a marker on him. To show that he um, looks... So wait, do I do I have any idea about what kind of like vision they have at all? Like none at all? No. So okay. But yeah, this guy looks fucked up. All those markers. <laughs> that guy looks fucked up because he's um he he tried to wake up um when it was day or something. Or okay. To... All right. So let's let's continue. So the officer hits. So damage. And as they all should, if they are um, have light sensitivity, they all should just have like a minus one to their um, perception and uh, attack rolls. Damage. What would we have to roll to find out um, about kobolds? What is it? Nature. It's uh, local knowledge. Yeah. I had a roll before this, but it wasn't like super high. But I figure since. I've fought in Lamash 2 fiends before. I might know something about kobolds. Okay. Unfortunately, my check on Knowles wasn't that high. The only thing that 
I think the only thing we knew about Knowles was that that it was Knowles. <laughs> uh, is this Knowles or Kobold? These are, These are Kobold. Okay. Okay. If the three guards go, the three in the front are gonna basically beat the crap out of that guy. Okay. Do they give him the D? Give him the D. Death. <laughs> oh, that's a unit. Wow. So they're fucking awful. So one of them hit. <laughs> those are the. Those are all the um, the the groups. The ones yep. in front, at least. Oh wow, he ace damage, but you can't roll your head. He has nine damage. Ah oh, shit! And go. Um, can I go since the troops went? Said I was holding my action for him. Yo. Okay, um, go for honest, it. Can I just ask, out of curiosity, do I go before or after the cobalt? You go... I will let you. Actually, you can go first if you wanted to. Me? Do I... Y you went after... You go after the officer, but... Cause, um, I go I after officer, but before a bill? No. The officer... Okay. All the troops beside the officer goes after you guys. Yeah, uh, I don't but know you're how letting guys... me go. You're letting me go before Bill. I'm basically letting you guys go, like as in, like I skipped your turn by accident. So, okay. so all right, well, I'll you go guys go ahead. Bill goes. I guess I'm gonna be last in line. Just go ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna go before Bill goes. Then. Okay, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and try to sleep the one in the front then, obviously, because if Bill's gonna go right after me, you can go in there and kill it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cast slumber. Hmm. Okay, he's out. <laughs> it's time loss. <laughs> oh god. You keep saying that. Are you gonna like take a dump in your pants or something? No, it's this character. <laughs> Um, Teru, okay, you actually have to tell Tharja what you said, because Tharja has that hat. Yep. No, the C he has to cast it, though. No. No, it's... it's right? Yeah. No, I just know. Is, is it charges per day? No, it's just one of those hats that just has... It's like, it's like the, um... It's, at, it's like an at-will thing. Like, if I heard something from Teru, I could use it and just say, okay. Understand my words. Yeah, then you have to tell him what he says. Just whisper me. Damn, I didn't know that this combat was going to be so full of waiting. <laughs> and secrets. Do you mind and go, come again? Go, yeah. Ben, what are you Just doing? Just whisper my character and, and uh, are you whispering me on this? What is whispering on Skype? Oh, I'm not on Skype. You ben, can whisper no. me and mumble. Um, I'm just going to magic missile this guy, I guess. Or, I'll go to the next guy, because... Oh, I should Go probably on. change my color. You kind of have to move like here if you're going to magic missile. Dude, magic yeah. missile can just go over shit. It doesn't go. You it don't matter. see him. How do I not see him? He's right there. There's a tree there. The tree is right. completely there. Can I see a this five guy? foot square. Yeah. What? All right. Whatever. So I can see that guy now. Yes. All right. So let's do magic missile. I don't understand this map. <laughs> <laughs> So, 11. All to one guy, right? Yes, the guy behind this guy that's asleep. Okay. There you go. And go, that would be Bill. Yep. No, everybody else goes. You said the troops were the last ones to go, so everybody else goes before me. Because I said no, I'd wait till you the were troops holding go. Your yeah, I, I remember I made them go because I missed their actions. 
Alright. Okay. So basically you're up and then you go again because it's gonna be Okay. You. I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna quickly before I take my action, I'm gonna do a quick scan and see if any of them look like they have like a horn or a whistle on them. Yes, um but while you